Should we go over these? 42. What's the answer? Prime factorized 42. What do we get? Perfect. 50? Uh, 5 times 2. 75? Uh, 3 times 5 squared. Mm -hmm. 14? Uh, 7 times 2. Mm -hmm. 28? 7 times 2 squared. 38? 2 times 9. Uh, 48? I have 2 squared times 2. You're missing something in here. What is it? You're missing a 3. This reduces to 16 times 3, right? Which is 2 to the 4th times 3. Right? It's, you're right, 2 squared, it's in there. You have to assemble the 2's together. 16 is 2 to the 4th, or 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Make sense? Yeah. Right? 52? Uh, 2 squared times 13. 54? 2 times cubed. 3 cubed? Yep, 2 times 3 cubed. 60? Let's assemble our 2's together, right? Which is 2 squared times 3 times 5. Right, good. 68? Oh, uh, 17 times 2, two um, to the 4. 2 squared? Yeah. 17 times 4? Right? Which is 17 times 2 squared. 44? 2 squared times 7. 98? Something's missing here. This is 49 times 2, 7 squared times 2. 150? Uh, 5 squared times 2 times 3. 5 squared times 2 times 3. Excellent. And 450? 2 times 3 squared times 5 squared. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You just have the squared in there. Perfect. Good. Any questions about this? This is, if you have difficulty doing this, you need to work on this. This is an incredibly basic, important skill. If you find you cannot do these incredibly quickly, the problem is in your multiplication tables. You do not know them well enough to associate number patterns in here.